Hello and here we are with a tutorial. This one's basically, didn't really know what to call this. It's like a freeze frame, um, floating freeze frame tutorial, I guess. Uh, I'll show you a video right now of what we're gonna achieve. Uh, this video I really rushed just for the sake of this tutorial. It is nighttime here, otherwise I would have gone out and shot a little scene myself and um, done it with that. And I didn't really have any pre-existing footage that would work very well. So basically that's the effect we're going for. Um, all you need for this tutorial is Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Photoshop. Um, you can do it in any software you want, really, as long as you can basically translate the steps into that software. But today we'll be using uh, just Adobe software. And um, that's all. So basically, let's get started, I guess. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up Adobe Premiere. Here we are here and we're gonna grab our footage. So this footage here is called Slow Motion Slam Dunk. Um, we're gonna drag it into our little bin here. This file I got from a website, it's stock footage. I'm gonna put the link in the description below, so check that out if you want. Grab the footage and have a go at it yourself. Um, so yeah, once it's in your bin, we're gonna drag it over to our timeline. Now, one important thing with Premiere and After Effects, if if you've got a really long video, but you only want to do an effect in a small part of the video, chop it up, so slice it up, and then just export that to After Effects rather than the whole clip, because when you're tracking cameras and things like that, it can take a long time. You'll see what I mean when we get to that part. So here's our clip. What we're gonna do now is just gonna grab the, uh, grab the playhead just here and move it along. And we're gonna find the part where you wanna freeze the frame, so on this one, let's go for something different as my last one, and we'll go from, let's go from there. So once you get the playhead where you want it, sorry, so once you find the part in the clip that you want to use, so you want to freeze the frame on, um, just press, just click up here, just once, just to select the right window, and then press M. What that's going to do is it's going to put a marker. So as you can see just here, we've got a marker, and that's going to tell us where we want to freeze the frame. So What's gonna happen is the video is gonna play out as normal, but we're, the whole time, this frame will be, this frame will be present the whole time until he jumps into himself and then continues normally. So let's go to our, go to our marker. You now, a little tip, you know you're on your marker when this little thing comes up on your uh, uh, video preview there. So if you move it out of the way, it disappears. So right now we're on it. Now what you wanna do, when you're on it, on the marked area, is press this, click this button right here, which is export frame. So it'll export this as an image. Um, so I'll just save it here into my floating freeze folder, but you can press browse and save it wherever you like, and we can call it whatever we want. So I'm just gonna call it still one, and then we press okay. So we've got our marker there, so we don't need to remember the time just yet, but it is uh, one second in and 15 frames. So let's open Photoshop. Okay, now with Photoshop open, we're gonna drag that file that we just saved from Premiere into Photoshop. Now this part here is probably the longest process, so I'm just gonna start off and then speed it up. So basically what you wanna do, now this isn't the best quality image, it's the motion blur is really, really, really horrendous. Um, they probably should have shot this with, with as high a frame rate they could have because it's, it is sports, but anyway, that's cool, we can work with this. Basically what you wanna do is grab your pen tool, this one here, and we're gonna to have to cut out uh, cut out the guy here. So cut out your subject basically. Whatever you're freezing, you're gonna to wanna to cut out. So I'll get started and I'll speed this part up until I've finished cutting him out. So let's go. So we're finished with the pen tool there. What we want to do, once you've finished the draw, is right click and then press make selection and just leave that as it is, zero pixels feather radius, radius and press OK. Now what we want to do is click up here on our rectangular marquee tool and then we're going to go to over here, refine edge. What this will help us do is just get the edge a bit better than what it is. That's actually not a bad job considering that was probably the fastest pen tool job I've ever done. 
but what you want to do is just just smooth the edges and play with this until you get something um, you know a little bit of feathered edge nothing too you don't want it too soft um, but you can shift the edge so you can actually cut that in or go out a little bit more but I think um, yeah I'm gonna just go about gonna go about there look it's not perfect it isn't the best quality video either and there is a lot of motion blur so as I said so it is a hard one to cut out once we've done that we press OK then we right click inside our selection and we just go layer via copy and in my case here, I'm going to turn off the background layer there so what we have is our basketball player here on a transparent background now what we're going to do is go to file save as and you can save that wherever you like just remember where it is and in, we're going to save it as a PNG file so a PNG file actually saves the transparency information so the background will be transparent so we'll just say that it's still one.png then we press save turn off the compression so it's its highest quality and press ok ok now we've got that frame and it's from this frame here at one second and fifteen frames what you want to do is right click on your video in your timeline here and just click replace with after effects composition and once after effects loads up we'll move on to the next step Okay, when uh, After Effects loads up, it's going to ask you to save the project straight away. So I'm just going to save it in that same folder. I'm just going to call it Floating Freeze. Press Save. And it's going to open our clip in After Effects. So first thing you want to do, you can have a look through the clip if you like. It's roughly there where our frame is going to be, but that doesn't matter for now. Uh, what we're going to do is track camera. So over here in Tracker, we're going to go track camera. If you can't see that, just go down to go up to Window here and find tracker and it should come up once you've done that so we do that and we're going to track the camera not motion it's track camera it's going to analyze in for a while this bit can take a while so i'll just skip uh, to the next part okay so now it's solving camera which means it's just gonna it's tracked the camera it's just going to give us some points we can track to so this usually doesn't take too long but there we go so what I like to do first of all, a track point size here, I like to make these a lot bigger so you can see exactly what's been tracked. So as you can see, there's all these little X's all over here. That's where After Effects has successfully tracked the camera. So as the footage moves, the X's should stay roughly in the same spot. So you wanna pick a section of the image where the X's pretty much stay all the time. So what I'm gonna do, there's some just up here that managed to stay there through the whole clip so I'm gonna probably grab those let's have a look uh, there's some around here that are pretty good too so you can select one like that or you can draw around them and select quite a few of them like that I'd say try and grab three as a minimum once you've done that you want to right click and press, press uh, create solid and camera so what you can see there, there's a red rectangle in there. It is facing the wrong way at the moment. So what we're gonna do, uh, actually we won't do that yet. We'll we'll do that once we've actually added our image in. So now what you wanna do is go up to uh, project right here. So our project bin, so we were here. We wanna just go here. Normally it's just to the left there, but it's, the title's too long to fit. So we'll just go back to our project and we're gonna open our folder and we're going to find the file that we cut out before which is right there still one.png we're going to drag that in to our project bin here <clears throat> and then while holding down the alt key on a pc which i think oh, i can't remember what it's called on a mac now sorry um holding that down we're going to drag that uh, image sorry just one sec before we do that make sure the track solid is selected then we're gonna press the Alt key and drag that over the track solid just like that. And what you'll see now, that track, the solid that was there has now become our image, but it is sideways and it's really small. So first things first, we're gonna scale that up. So hit the drop down arrow here, hit the drop down arrow in your transform and scale, just click your left mouse button on there and you can drag it to the right or you can enter any, any figure you want. So let's get it up. So as you can see, it's starting to take shape. 
Now we're gonna have to play around with our orientation and rotation because as you can see, it is facing the wrong way. So let's just play around with some of these. So that's back and forth. Um, Z rotation is the one we want. So we need him to be facing, you know, roughly in that direction. Before we go any further, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Premiere and we're just gonna find, get our marker. So we're just gonna make sure we're on our marker, which is right there. Check the time so that's one second in and 15 frames. Go back to After Effects and just here, just click there and type 115 and press OK. So that's the exact part of the clip where we took our image and we've, we've done this little cutout here. So what you're gonna do, line it up roughly and then just scale it up. Scale it up and uh, it's probably too big. You might have to play with all the rotations to get it perfectly the way it was. I'm just gonna try and do this really quickly for the sake of the tutorial. All right, that's definitely not perfect. It's actually really bad. Uh, I think it might've been my original pen tooling mask. I've cut in a bit too much, so you can see some little edges around the ball and things like that. But for argument's sake, let's just do this. As I said, normally you wanna take your time with the pen tool and try and do as good a job as possible, unlike this. Wow, this is bad. Um, so now we've got that in there. Uh, we can shrink this down. What you'll see if you slide your playhead is the player stays completely still in the shot, just like that. So what you wanna do, let's go to the part where we line him up, which is there, one second in, 15 frames. And we wanna grab the, so this layer here is our still layer, that's our floating image. You want that to end as soon as he jumps into it. So we're gonna drag this back right here, right to the playhead, or we'll automatically uh, grab there. And now you'll see it'll, as soon as he's in that position, he'll disappear and continue on. As I said, this looks a million times better when you do a good job. Wow, this is bad. Um, but let's let's just save this, and then if we go back to Premiere, we'll have our saved. It'll automatically update the composition here. So let's play this back. Boom! So that looks pretty cool. As I said, I've done a pretty shocking job. I've done a pretty shocking job of the actual mask out in the beginning, but just for as I said, just for tutorial sake, I did that really quickly. So. Yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy once you know how to do it. The hardest part, I mean, the longest part, it is time consuming is pen tooling out the, whoever's in the image, uh, in the video. Um, and the beauty, beautiful thing is you can do this as many times as you want. You might want to have five of them in a row and then he just, you know, jumps into all five of himself. Um, yeah, I've seen them use this a lot. Really awesome video clips where someone's walking down the street, they're being tracked backwards by the camera and they're walking into images of themselves down the road. That looks really cool. So all that, you can do that all by the same method. Um, that's pretty easy. I hope that helped you. Please subscribe if it helped. Please comment below if you have any questions or you're stuck on something. Um, I think that's it. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.